Hello there. Today in this video, I am going to talk on hydropower. Let me explain the theory behind hydropower. As you know, the potential energy is due to the gravitational field that is MGH. M is the mass, G is the gravitational field and H is the height or effective head. Now, you can see the water is falling from a higher elevation to a lower elevation. The energy conversion is potential energy to kinetic energy. If you can store water at a higher elevation, you can convert that energy to kinetic energy at a lower elevation. And then you can utilize the kinetic energy on a machine. Therefore, if you can store a large amount of water like this or a huge mass of water at a higher elevation, your purpose is served. In other words, it is a huge renewable energy source. Alright, so hydropower or hydroelectric or hydro power converts energy from flowing water into useful electricity. Hydropower is a renewable and clean source of energy. When you connect these generators to the grid, it helps to control the system smoothly. In future, pumped storage hydros will help as a way of storing our energy in large power systems. It can be associated with flood control, irrigation systems, water supply schemes for communities, and etc. Ecological concerns are there in developing hydropower projects. Next, what are the components of a hydropower station? You need to store water in a reservoir and allow to pass through a pipe called penstock. At the end, water will gain a huge amount of kinetic energy and the water jet will dry the turbine. There are few types of water turbines or hydro turbines like Pelton wheels, Francis turbines and Kaplan turbines. Next, turbine shaft is coupled to a synchronous generator and it will produce your three-phase electricity. These actual hydropower plants will give you a nice picture, a nice idea if you need to store a large amount of energy or in other words, a huge amount of water, your large reservoir plus the large catchment area will do the job. Once water goes through the turbine, it comes to the tail race. Here you can see a dam, a large reservoir with a huge catchment area. Before going into the calculations, uh, let me explain two important things. One, the water flow rate Q and the second one is the H effective water head. So these two key parameters are the ones uh, which decide the output power. All right, I'm going to work out one example here. A hydropower plant is operating at an efficiency of 89.9. The water flow rate is 2 cubic meters per second and the effective water head is 900 meters. So you are given the other required values and part A calculate the power output of the hydro plant. Part B suggests a turbine type for this power plant and the last one at a plant factor of 50% calculate the annual energy production. 
So if I recap the values quickly, Q is 2 cubic meters per second and H is 900 meters. So if you want to calculate the power, this is the equation you need. G rho, the efficiency, Q, H. So all the values are given here and you will end up with 15.88 megawatts. So that is your power output. Part B suggests a turbine type for this power plant. So it is a high head 900 meters and a low flow rate of 2 cubic meters per second. So your selection would be a pelt and wheel type turbine. So how you find these uh, parameters, you can go to one of the websites. There are uh, different websites available. You can find a turbine application chart. You can see uh, on the X axis, that's flow rate, cubic meters per second, and the Y axis, the head. So you can locate uh, these two parameters. And in our case, it would be a pelt and uh, turbine. So last part at a power uh, plant factor of 50% calculate the annual energy production so you know the energy is power into the time so it's a one year uh, with a plant factor of 50% you can uh, multiply by 0.5 and you have already have the power value and the time is uh, that is the well known 8760 hour figure and uh, normally we calculate with kilowatt hours but you can put uh, the final answer if you want like gigawatt hours so i hope you enjoy this video thank you for watching